out of 31 Days of Halloween Prompt Challenge by Dragon Goddess 13. Day 4. Hermione Granger and Charlie Weasley. Sweaters and bonfires. With the wall behind them, Harry, Ron and Hermione found themselves in a reversal of roles. Once Hogwarts was repaired, Harry was determined to return and finish his schooling, hoping that maybe, just maybe, he'd have at least a normal year to build new memories. The kind of memories Sirius and Remus had shared with him when they had been alive. Ron, of course, had every intention of following his best friend. He'd failed him in the Forest of Dean, even if Harry had forgiven him, and he would make sure he had Harry's back from now on. It was Hermione's decision that shocked everyone. After spending seven years trailing after Harry Potter and Ron Weasley, keeping them alive and sometimes struggling to find a balance between her needs and theirs, she was determined to live her own life. With that in mind, Hermione decided to skip her last year, taking her nudes at the ministry and applying for apprenticeship on the mainland. Hermione knew Harry and especially Ron had been hurt by her decision to leave them, but if they couldn't understand why she needed to do this, then she certainly couldn't explain it to them. With no surprise to anyone, Hermione passed all of her nudes and was accepted to almost every apprenticeship she had applied to. It was the acceptance letter from Romania, however, that won her over. Hermione had met Charlie Weasley on several occasions, finding the opportunity to talk to each other, and Hermione found herself enraptured by his similar passion for the rights of magical creatures. It was with that in mind that she chose the apprenticeship at the Dragon Preserve. And she had not regretted it. It didn't take long for her to understand Charlie's love for these creatures. The fact that he was her mentor helped as well. The first year was tough but not as difficult as fighting Death Eaters and only slightly more difficult than Hogwarts. By the end of the second year, she'd advanced much further than she thought was possible so quickly. What are you doing? Hermione asked, as Charlie pulled several big logs off the pile next to the hearth. You'll see, was his only reply as he ducked out of the door and into the field beyond the house. Hermione watched until he was out of sight, shaking her head as she turned back to her book. A few minutes later, Charlie reappeared, this time heading for the bedroom and coming back out with one of her sweaters. That was another development no one had seen coming. After working so closely for two years, their relationship had taken a turn, shifting from platonic to become gradually more and more romantic. Now she all but officially lived in his cottage overlooking the preserve. Here, he said, holding out her sweater to her. What is this for? She asked, closing her book and taking the sweater. For you to wear, he replied, amused. But it's warm in here. Why do I need a sweater? Trust me, he asked, and she nodded. Hermione slipped the sweater on, then accepted Charlie's hand and let him lead her out the door. Not too far off, she could see a fire burning, and Charlie headed for it. As they got closer, she noticed an old overstuffed armchair, big enough for two. Her suspicions were proven correct as they neared the small bonfire and Charlie sat down, pulling her down next to him. The air was crisp around them, the mid-October chill settling in after the sun had gone down. Hermione wrapped her sweater around her and leaned into Charlie's side. Soaking up the heat, he naturally gave off. So what's the occasion? Hermione asked sometime later. Charlie smiled. I wanted everything to be special, romantic, and this is the best I could come up with. He chuckled. It is very romantic, she smiled. Good. I wouldn't want this moment to be forgettable, he told her, and before she could ask why, he was holding out a small black box to her. She wasn't sure when she had started shaking. She would later blame the cold as she opened the box to reveal a gorgeous, yet simple silver ring, a solitaire cut diamond on top. Let's travel the world together, Miney. There'll be so much to learn, so much to do and see. Hermione smiled up at him. How could she say no to a request like that? The end. Thank you for listening to 31 Days of Halloween Prompt Challenge, Day 4 by Dragon Goddess 13. Stay tuned for more spooky content.